I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. Have you been hearing this coming from your Tyrannus? Sensor lost. Well, I'm going to show you how to fix it, but probably not in the way you think. Stay tuned. A whole bunch of people are upgrading their Tyrannus to OpenTX version 2.2.0. Uh, and along with that upgrade, you get a lot of cool new features like the ability to run Lua scripts on the Tyrannus, which means that you can change your PIDs, your rates, and even your video transmitter settings from your Tyrannus screen. Super cool. And in fact, I do have a video about how to do that. And I will put a card in the upper right so you can click over there if you want to check that out. But another thing that people are getting with the upgrade is an error. A, some would say a bug. The whole time you're flying, you're hearing sensor lost, sensor lost, sensor lost, right? Yeah, if you've experienced that, you know how freaking annoying that is. Some people get it just every once in a while, and some people get it constantly. Now, one reason this is happening has to do with the firmware on your receiver. Some people have fixed this issue simply by updating the firmware on the receiver to the latest version. And that's actually not what I'm here to show you how to do. I'm gonna show you a much funnier solution to it. I'm gonna show you how to change the file to either just get rid of the file, the audio file, or to change it to something more entertaining. In order to do that, I'm going to use a tool called Audacity. I've got it loaded here. Audacity is a free sound editor. You can download it from the internet. I'll put a link in the video description. And I've also got the USB drive from my Tyrannus here in my computer. Now you can take the SD card out of the Tyrannus and just put it into your USB card reader. Or you can do the thing with the Tyrannus where you hold the two trim switches inward when then power the Tyrannus on, that puts it into bootloader mode and it'll mount the drives via the USB cable. And if we look here, we can see on the SD card, there's a folder sounds and a folder EN. Now that's EN for English. That's I'm English language speaker. And there's sound files for other languages if you speak one of those languages. I'm gonna go into the EN folder and then I'm gonna go into the system folder. And here in the system folder, I'm gonna find a sound file sensorko.wav and if i drag that file over to audacity sensor lost oh there it is there's good old sensor lost now sensorko.wav one thing you can do if you want to get rid of that is just rename it now you could delete it but i don't like to do that because then what if someday i want it back or i want to remember what the name of it was so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to I, that'll work. I'll right click. I'll choose rename. And I'm just going to name it sensorko.wave.old or something, anything. It doesn't matter. As long as we change that extension, it's no longer going to exist. And I will no longer hear sensor lost. I will just hear nothing. But I'm going to do something a lot funnier. So here I've got an audio file that I think would be entertaining to hear anytime the Tyrannus has a sensor lost. Let's listen to it. Oh, crap! Okay, so I need to convert this to a format that the Tyrannus will understand. I can't just dump this on the SD card. The Tyrannus has very specific expectations. And one of the things I need to do is, this is a stereo file. I need to convert it to mono, single track. And I'll do that by clicking right here and saying split stereo to mono. And then I'll just close one of the two so that I've, now I've got a single track. Then I need to change the project rate to 32 kilohertz. And now we can export this if we so desire. But I actually want to trim it up a little bit too. So oh, I think it'd be better just to get, I'm just going to click and drag here. Oh, just to the end of the, just to the end, please. There we go. There we go. I like that. After making the selection, then I can do file, export selection. And I'm going to go to my SD card sounds en system and i'm going to name that sensor ko dot wave now unfortunately i couldn't reliably uh get my tyrannus to do a sensor lost for you so i've just set it up so it'll play the audio file on a switch just to prove that it'll play <laughs> and i can't wait till i'm in the field sometime uh, and I do get a sensor lost, and my radio says, 
<laughs> it's going to be epic. I got one more quick tip for you before I sign off. You may have noticed that when I turn my Tyrannus on, instead of saying, welcome to OpenTX, like it normally does, it says, whatever, which again, I think is hilarious. If you want to do something like that, or if you just want to get rid of that, welcome to OpenTX every time you freaking turn it on, the file you're looking for is hello.wave. And if you either replace that file or with something else, or just pick one of the other sound files, like the whatever file, you just replace the hello.wave file with, with whatever you prefer, and it'll play that on startup. Thanks for watching. Happy flying.